all right folks so what is going on back with game two of zombie link warrior versus the gym knight ftk uh yeah man we are back uh we did we were able to get two duels going off so yeah anyways as you can see i start off with the armageddon knight but the ash come swinging down and then he comes swinging down with a brain fusion right after that and you guys already know if you guys know gym knight ftk you guys know that this duel is it, it, pretty much over. So I'm just sitting here contemplating, all right, how can I survive this? Can he mess up or anything? Because I do have any part of inquisitiveness set, it, set down. So technically, I could at least play around the Link monster when it tries to fusion from the Vanish. Um, if I can catch him at the right time. But besides that, this game is like 3,000% over, folks. You guys pretty much... <laughs> I mean, you know, pretty much everybody is seeing uh, Gym Knight FTK is now running around. It's like probably one of the top decks, I guess. People are playing it like over the past weekend. I've seen many, many deck profiles and many, many people um, actually top with that deck. So this may be a deck that, you know, people are going to start playing. Maybe this is, you know, maybe this is the future tier one deck because it is so consistent. There's only a couple of cards that can literally stop it, um, which, you know, like BB Crow can stop this deck. Um, Effect Veiler can technically somehow stop this deck. Um, Ghost Stalker is really good against this deck. Um, it's really just a lot of hand traps. Besides that, if you don't have anything set up, no back row, you're going to be taking the L very fast. And as you can see, he goes for the Brilliant Fusion and he normal summons the Obsidian. And uh, yeah. Um, now here, I don't know if this is correct. Oh wait, no, he doesn't actually do it. All right. Um, I thought that he was going to add a card back to his hand or special summon it because of Obsidian. All right, so he doesn't do that. He summons the Gem Knight, searches Gem Knight Fusion. Now, if you can stop him from getting to the Gem Knight Fusion, or if you can stop your opponent, I shall say, to get to the uh, from getting to the Gem Knight Fusion, then it is definitely, uh, definitely, um, it is definitely what you need to do. Um, so yeah, that's something that you need to stop them. And also, um, if they just have Black Dragon, they have Black Dragon. There's not really too much you can do here. He goes to pay. I mean, he goes to use the fusion and I chain my party of Quidniff to put it back to the deck so I can draw a card. Um, I'm not too sure right now if if I do have to uh, shuffle my deck um, or not, because technically I'm not getting anything. But it does say, you know, shuffle the deck. So I don't know if it's I, if I have to shuffle anything. That's what I'm asking here. That's why I keep checking to see exactly what it says. But I just end up drawing. So maybe um, that is wrong. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but yeah so end up drawing a card i'm thinking all right please can i draw a hand trap so i can stop this deck and alas i can i did not draw a hand trap so um it's pretty much game over and then another thing another crucial thing is if gym knights can go second it's, it's just all over because they can still attack folks like nothing stops like in Yu-Gi-Oh! now they probably would have printed something on it that says hey you can't attack you can't do this much damage you can't do this this person can't attack but the fact that you can attack with um, all your monsters even after you do all the gym night stuff like they don't have to be honest with you they don't even have to really uh go for the lapis combo uh, Lapras or whatever the name is the gym Knight, the one that burns you don't really have to go for that I mean, that's just you know the easiest way to win they can literally just they can spam out three gym knights and, and beat you because it's not hard to do Then plus block dragon can pr keep bringing itself out. So already that's what 19 33 for mrs. Radiant and block dragon and all he really is bring out uh, the the 2900 one uh, I believe that it's the uh I'm pretty sure it's not, it's not Lapis. It's the Zirconia, I think that's the name is. I think he's 2,900, so he's 3,400. So that's 34, 33, which is 67, and Mrs. and a 19, and pretty much 2,000. So that's 87, 8,500 damage done to your opponent. And then, like, he still has his normal summon because he's never conducted his actual normal summon. He, he conducted the additional normal summon from Seraph Knight. So it's just it's just over. There's just nothing really. Actually, come to think about it, he drew really good. <laughs> I just thought about that. Like he drew Black Dragon, he drew Brilliant Fusion, and he had an Armadillo in his hand and an Ash Blossom. Like Jesus Christ, I, I wasn't supposed to win that one. Um, but uh, yeah, this this deck is very crazy. Black Dragon. I don't even know why that card's even been printed. Like it doesn't make no type of sense. Why do you just get to add three? 
it basically you can add up to it equals level eight what what, what, what where, where does that even come from I, I just don't get it here you can see he's using gemini fusion to go into his first lapis which is going to burn me for one two um it's going to burn me for three i don't know if it counts itself i believe it does though so that's 1500 already and here i'm just reading because i'm like all right where can can is it possible that i can survive this turn um but uh <laughs> it uh, you know you, you guys know it's not it's just it's just not it's just not it's not possible to survive for this turn so it's going to use lapis effect to send from the deck to the graveyard another way that you can beat this deck is to play lancia i'm playing 60 cards so i mean i don't know how many hand traps i'm going to have to decide to even be able to compete with this but lancia can stop this deck dd crow on the gym Knight fusion can stop this deck ash blossom which a lot of people um a lot of people are still you know thinking it's the best hand trap i really don't think ash is really that good because gym knights are uh, one of the best decks or one of the top decks excuse me but one of the top deck out top decks out then uh you know what, what what can you you know what do you actually like uh what does ash actually stop besides brewing fusion and you can stop what the add of a gym Knight fusion or a block dragon it seems pretty decent but it doesn't seem like it's too good because you can't stop the fusion you can't start like if the fact that you're not uh you know stopping the actual fusion summon it's you know it's it's really bad it's it's i, I mean i i just don't think that it's i don't think ash is really good and especially against you know uh pendulum magicians pendulum magicians i just really don't think that's actually like ash is very terrible against that deck and that's like i told you guys in that one video i it's proving to be one of the top decks i'm pretty sure um by uh tomorrow i believe yeah you guys are going to be seeing this friday so tomorrow you guys sh should be uh ycs atlanta should be taking place and i'm like i said i'm predicting a couple of stun is going to make it um i think majority is going to be pendulum magicians and now I mean, i'm kind of you know solemn judgment i don't feel like it's going to be played um but yeah as you can see i'm ghost Orger in here on this and this is what i was trying to look up on my phone you guys see me that when i got on my phone i was trying to look up something because i don't know what the ruling is because it's copying the name and if i go soaker and technically it's off the field does it still retain the effect i believe it does because it really i mean it doesn't have to be on the field but that's why i end up ghost soaker and, and when you activated the effect to copy the name because i did not know what he was like i did not know about that ruling i'm pretty sure that it still just retains the effect i'm not too sure i have to look i have to look it up but i have to find some type of ruling about that but yeah that's why i end up ghost organ just on the effect because i was just like it you know if i'm wrong then you know he just burns me anyways and if i ghost organ now then it's you know whatever but yeah cs landed like i said i think i think more a lot of people are going to be more, basically <clears throat> majority of the top 32 of uh majority of top 32 is going to be pendulums it's going to be a couple of stuns in there um and then also i said a lot of people are going to cut solemn judgment you, you guys are going to see it it's not that good you, i don't know if a lot of people know but you cannot solemn judgment a pendulum summon of more than one so it's it's it, it is not that i'm telling you it's really not that great right now um and then also i guess i can throw this last thing on here uh gym nights are definitely going to top i guarantee that's going to top at least i mean if, if none top i'm gonna be very surprised but as you can see here i mean he has enough for game so i was like yeah let's just pick it up and yeah all right for a little intermission guys hope you guys are enjoying the video as it is if you guys want to help support the channel all i ask for you guys to do is click an ad or donate to my patreon that'd be enough for me thank you guys for watching enjoy the rest of the duel All right, folks. So back with game two, um, with Zombie Link War versus uh, Gym Knight FTK. Um, in this game, I actually opened up really, really, really broken. I think I opened up Red Resonator, Solitaire, Mizuki, Effect Veiler, and a Mali. So I'm thinking I'm just about to just blow. I, that's Triple Omega. So I'm about to blow this man out of the water. Um, so I use Summon Red Resonator, use the effect to get off the Solitaire, and uh, Ash Blossom shows rears his ugly head, rear her ugly head again. And then there's the brand fusion and i'm like oh god but i'm like i got a veiler so if he has a normal summon or something like if he has just a normal monster we're fine um i, I can veiler you know i can still get past this so he activates the bridge so i'm not really that scared with the brand fusion i'm like okay you know it's fine like i said if he just has the normal 
we are in the duel we can survive um, I'm gonna take a bit of damage, but it's it's going to be okay. If they need normal summons the gym Knight armadillo gym armadillo and I pick my cards up because I'm like, oh man in my mind in, in my mind now This is definitely just because I don't know. Um, I don't know the matchup yet um, But in my mind, I thought that you can actually search gym Knight fusion with armadillo There's a reason why I scooped and if and, and actually you can't you can only search monsters. So right here I would have Valored and that would have been the end of the duel because I mean not the end of the duel but I actually would have survived because he wouldn't have been able to do nothing else. why did he search the city did he already have gym Knight fusion in his hand uh, I, I don't even know did he I'm thinking he already had gym Knight fusion so I don't think there was a way um, how do you think there was a way I was coming back here now um, does he did he need it I'm pretty sure he did need it right L well let's see folks I don't know but um, I definitely premature scooped because I definitely should have stopped the link because I have he basically hasn't shown Gem Knight Fusion so I know if he has it or he doesn't I'm pretty sure he does have it by the way he's playing but in that situation it was definitely a wrong time to scoop I definitely should have just baited the link because like I told you guys in you know just just right before in the first duel is that if they don't if you can stop them from getting access to the Gemini fusion you're able to survive you're able to you know do something but come to think about it I, don't, I, I think that's still game regardless even if I don't stop it or anything right here as you can see I'm just taking my side deck cards I'm, I'm just pissed off right here folks I'm pissed off because uh, the fact that he had to ask to stop my cards but I didn't have nothing to stop his um <clears throat> that's what i'm mad at but let's see does he have a gemini fusion if he has a gemini fusion it's over okay well he had it anyway so it doesn't matter i mean i made the right choice to scoop but um yeah it's just that definitely wasn't the right time to scoop i definitely should have just waited and when i seen the gemini fusion i think that would have been that would have been the right time to scoop uh that would have been the exact right time to scoop but <clears throat> i end up prematurely doing it but it, you know it's 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 all fine and dandy. I don't I wasn't winning regardless um, of the case. But folks, don't don't forget. Um, definitely test the gym knife. If you're going to YCS Atlanta or anything like that, definitely ch test this uh, uh, test uh, against gym knight FTK. Find out their kinks and stuff like that. Find out what you know. What, did I say kinks? Find out. <laughs> Find out what I, you know how they how they play. Find out their best combos. Find out what to stop them. Find out all of that because I, I'm, I'm I, I know that's going to be my fourth position. My big four predictions. I you know pendulums are going to be the most represented deck in the top 32. Uh, people are going to stop playing solid judgment after the event. Um, ain't no okay. Well, let me rephrase this. Pendulum magicians with um, with the uh, Cerberus card, the um, mythical beast Cerberus incorporate i believe uh those are going to be I, I i'm just going to you know what that that was my original thought so i'm going to play i'm going to stick to that i believe those are going to be the most uh <clears throat> the most represented is the mythical beast cerberus versions of the deck of um, my pendulum magicians i believe that's going to be the most represented version of the deck um i also said solomon judgment is not going to be played too much after this and i also um said two to four stun decks will make it into the top 32 um, I don't know if they're gonna win, but I, I, I really, I feel strongly about them um, making it to top 32, at least to the four. And then my fourth prediction is Jim Knight FDK will see some representation. I don't know how many spots. I'm just gonna claim. I would say two. I'd say the max two. I don't think this deck can really survive over a 10 round tournament. Could like too many consistently, even though it's a very consistent deck and you really only need about two or three cards to go off. Really one brain fusion that you can really go off. But I feel like the deck, you know, while it is good, I don't feel like a lot of people are either gonna play it or uh, a lot of people are not gonna remember or everybody's gonna be prepared for it. And you know, only a couple are, go are going to slip through the cracks and find their way to the top 32. But yeah. That's going to be my big four predictions. But as you can see here, I'm just getting OTK and he's literally going to burn me for 8,500. 8, so, yeah, that is it for uh, today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy that uh, snooze fest of Gym Knight FTK. <laughs> I'm just playing, but hope you guys did enjoy that. Um, there's more duels coming. Uh, I think I'm going to be playing Vindreds next. 
just to see how we can, you know, just see how I can do with that. I'm pretty sure I'm playing against Gemini FTK. I believe that's his main deck. I may play Pendulums. I may not. I don't know. Uh, like, uh, like I said in yesterday's video, I am moving, so you know, I definitely have the, I would definitely have the space to, you know, basically be as, be able to record, you know, better duels, I guess, better lighting and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But besides that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys would like to help out the channel, click an ad or you know, donate to my Patreon. Besides that, that is it, man, and I will see you guys tomorrow.